Now we have to replicate this oblique hollow shape. And same as we always do, let's start from this lower left corner right here, where we have our starter line. And let's start by drawing the base. The base here is 5 squares to the right. Now the vertical lines. The vertical lines are 4 squares up. At this stage, only use uh, construction lines, which are going to be drawn very, very lightly. For now, only focus on drawing the outermost rectangle. Now let's join these two lines right here to have our, our front view of the outermost rectangle. And now let's draw these 45 degree angled lines. Now the thickness of this entire shape is just one square to the upper right. So let's do that for all of the visible corners. Now let's join the lines at the back to close up our whole shape. Now that the outer part is finished, now let's start to draw the hollow section of my shape, of this rectangular shape. So to draw this rectangular hole, first we're going to draw the front rectangle. Now this rectangle, let's start by locating where this corner is. That corner is one square to the right on the base and then one square up. So one square to the right and one square up. Mark that, that corner if you find it helpful. Now the baseline of this rectangle is just three squares. Now let's draw the vertical lines which are only two squares up. Now let's join these two lines together by drawing the top horizontal line. And now we have that uh, inner corner that we're seeing right here. And as we all know, in an oblique projection, all of the angled lines are going to be at 45 degrees always at an oblique projection, which is uh, in a cabinet. So let's draw that 45 degree line. And now let's draw this vertical line. Now, as we all know, this line is definitely longer than it is. However, we're only going to draw what we're going to see in our final shape. So our line We'll start from that point until it hits the line at the front view. Same on the other baseline, the other horizontal line. So at this level and stage, only draw the lines which are going to be visible. And now let's uh, go through each visible line to darken out the outlines. Then when you're finished in darkening your outlines, make sure to shade 
the views, the front end and plan, and the assigned colors.